you guys, it's your boy Alex West Collects here, bringing you the most in-depth action figure views here on YouTube, and today we're taking out the AW Jazzwares Unrivaled Ringside Collectibles Exclusive 3-Pack featuring the acclaimed. If you aren't just in grabbing this 3-Pack, uh, it is now available and shipping from ringsidecollectibles.com. When you guys shop, use promo code for life to save 10% off your order. So here we go, another amazingly packaged Ringside Collectibles Exclusive. You can see the kind of like spray-painted look here for the acclaimed logo really do like the way that looks the aw logo here you got the chains on the front the uh front of the box actually does have some uh, velcro tabs and you will open it in here and you will see the three figures so we have max caster anthony bones and billy gunn uh they claimed one of the hottest things going in aw today look at all the little details here on the sides with the lights you got the boom box kind of shape here also the acclaimed logo even look at the, the inside the flap that actually has some detailing too with the scissor hands and all that good stuff i really do like the attention to detail that goes in with these exclusives especially with ringside collectibles on the top you'll see there's a little bit of a, a window where you can peek in and take a look at each uh figure included on the side, you will see the Acclaim logo. And on the other side, you will see the same logo there as well with the figure numbers here. And on the back, you get the awesome large image of the Acclaimed. Uh, really do like the way this box looks. You got the Ringside Club's exclusive logo. Uh, let's come back. We're going to crack these figures out of the packaging and see what they're all about. The first figure we're taking away from this three-pack is Anthony Bones. So accessories included are a set of scissor hands here. See so the other one on the figure. He does come with the mic open holding hand with an AW microphone as well. You do get two different heads. So you got more of the kind of plain face look. And you also do got the tongue out look for him hitting the, hitting the, uh, the scissor pose. Uh, looks pretty nice. Remember, there, this figure is coming out in Unrivaled 14, I believe. Uh, it is a little bit of a different attire. But you do get the same accessories for the most part. Again, removing the microphone here. You also do get this nice entrance vest in the pink with all the little scissors on there. Nice detailing. Nice different logos and design, same on the back. Uh, that is removable, and we will get it off of the figure. It is a, not too stiff of a rubber material. It does come off. I do really do like that with the AW uh, vests and jackets that they have designed. You can see the torso on underneath. I feel like this is pretty fitting for Bowens. You want to get a look at his trunks here. All this different scissoring detailing on here. Um, take a look at the back. It says Bowens. Continuing on, you will see uh, the logos on his knee pads as well as on his kick pads. Just very toyetic. This really does pop. Uh, very different colors for the most part, right, uh, for an action figure with the pink. Uh, one more time, if you did want to see both heads here, and we can swap them out. Should come out pretty easy. I feel like sometimes these heads are hit or miss. Sometimes, see, like the neck peg, if it's too short, gives you a little bit of difficulty, but we should be able to get it on there. And there you have Bowen's doing... The scissoring pose with the tongue out. Let me know down in the comments below which head do you like better. Do you like the straight face or the tongue out? Moving right along, we are taking at Billy Gunn. So I believe he was also supposed to be in Unrivaled 14. Uh, he's kind of going to go into that same uh, formula that we had for the bunny. He's going to be the chase out of, uh, was it one out of 5,000, I believe. Um, so he's no longer technically going to be an official mainline release. Uh, but the good thing is if you do really want Billy Gunn from his AW run, you can get him within this three pack. So accessory wise, you do get a set of scissoring hands here. You can see that one hand actually does have his tattoo on his ring. So I just thought that was a pretty nice detail. Nothing on the other side, but a uh, nice little attention de uh, to detail there. So you know with AW figures, when they have a black t-shirt on, you know what we're all thinking, right? If you're new to the AW line, these shirts generally stain the hell out of the figure. So I did not remove it. I wanted to do this live on camera for you guys. Uh, there is, looks, looks like some plastic around his arm. So hopefully that deterred it. But if you did purchase the Supreme CM Punk, they also did the same thing where they wrapped the hell out of the arms and there was still some paint dye on there. But, uh, before we get to the shirt, I did want to show you the hat. It does have the acclaimed logo on here. Let's zoom in, give you a better look. Nice and soft and rubbery fits them pretty good. You got the open tab here on in the back. The t-shirt looks okay. It looks a little baggy. If you ask me, it does have the acclaimed AW logo every Wednesday. And it Velcro's on in the back. So let's get to it. Let's remove the shirt. Let's see what daddy ass has. And it looks like there is one small stain mark on this arm. And also on the shoulders. Damn. You know, th this just... It, <laughs> I'm not even going to rant about it. Because I feel like every video we have this issue. Uh, I just get all worked up. I'm, I'm not going to go there. It just is what it is at this point. Very disappointing for, you know, such a premium priced item. You'll see the staining on the shoulders. Um, which they did not cover. 
there is more stain on his shoulders here as well as a little stain here underneath the plastic like how does that happen even on his forearm here there's a little bit of staining so uh let's come back i'm gonna remove this plastic off camera because it is a little tedious but it is just disappointing that there is staining here all right, then we're back getting all that plastic wrap off the figure that did absolutely nothing to save it from staining. Uh, but again, I just, I can't get over this, man. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to try to stay focused here for you. But uh, it's just disappointing because, you know, he's going to be the chase figure to get. And you know what? They may even package him with a t-shirt too and they'll have the same issue. But he does have this really jacked torso. I want to say that's a new torso, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we've seen this in the AW line. And Billy Gunn is pretty freaking jacked, even at his age. I know a lot of people were iffy on this head. Head, but I see a good likeness to Billy Gunn here. Let's bring him in real close. Get this camera to focus for you guys. I can see a little bit of Lex Luger. Not gonna lie, but from certain angles, that is Billy Gunn, especially uh, in his later run. You can see the hair sculpting here on in the back, the tattoos around the uh, the torso or the back as well. This looks pretty good, man. I'm gonna get another quick close up for you guys here. I think that's pretty good, man. What do you? I mean, let me know down in the comments below. I know some people are saying it doesn't look like him at all, but. I see a decent likeness, right, for AW and, you know, the way they design figures. I do like the way that came out. Uh, take a look at the tattoos. Let's uh, get a close-up there for you guys. He's got these tattoos on his forearms. Same on the other side here. So that is new, not on, obviously, your Mattel figures. Take a look at the back. You'll see around his neck and his uh, mid-back as well. Looking at his, uh, I guess, his sweatpants or joggers, he does have the scissors all over them with the black detailing and the pink. does have the pink sneakers on, and that's a nice detailing too. Taking a look at the back. So it's kind of disappointing because all in all, this is actually a pretty nice figure. If you guys want to throw the hat on there to have him kind of looking, uh, you know, like he's in ring ready. If you guys wanted to see how it looked on the front of the, the figure itself facing the other way. It, it's a decent figure. It's just disappointing that it is stained. The last figure from the set that we we're taking a look at is Max Caster. So accessory wise, he does come pretty stacked. He does come with one open interchangeable hand. This is the weird thing. So it's an interchangeable right hand. Uh, one has the wrist tape or hand tape on there and this one has nothing. So I don't know, maybe something post-match, pre uh pre-match i don't know just it was kind of an odd uh, hand to include uh you can see that they are similar I, they're both kind of like mic open holding hands uh one just has the hand tape you also do get one uh scissoring hand with the actual hand wrap on there as well he comes with the aw microphone the actual head uh phones as well that you can kind of place around his neck looks really nice he comes with this removable hat as well it does have the acclaimed logo on there. It looks pretty clean, man, if you ask me. It doesn't fit the best over his hat, but I don't feel like he really wears his hats flush. It kind of like sits up over his hair. Um, so that's kind of another way to display it. You also do get this nice necklace on here. It is tied down with a rubber band in the packaging. Just makes it sit really nice on this beautiful jersey. Just love the sparkles of the silver on here. It does have the acclaimed 78 on there. You also do get another interchangeable head. So you got just like Bowen's, the kind of more... Uh, plain head scan on here and then the actual tongue out head uh, nice hair sculpt on both of these looks really good i will say mine if you guys can see does have a little bit of missing paint on there uh so that's a little unfortunate it is not on this head but the hair sculpt is the same on both heads it's just a different expression and again the aw microphone that we have seen over and over again really like the look of this jersey man it does make this figure pop so much um, let's remove this rubber band. I'm like hesitant to take these off because I feel like it really holds these necklaces in place, even like on the Mattel, like Hollywood Hogan figures that we've been getting or, you know, Hogan figures where they tie the, the chain down. Looks really good and you'll see kind of how it sits on here. But this jersey just is so nice and toyetic. Uh, love the silver and the pink. Just looks really good. Take a look at the back. It does say platinum. It does Velcro. So if you guys did want to remove it off the figure, you can. And take a look at the torso on underneath again the necklace is removable i do like that as well he comes with a lot of accessories man he's probably uh without a doubt uh the top figure with the most stuff from the set right you got the silver pants with the pink on there best wrestler alive on the knee pad with the music notes it's got the silver boots take a look on the back it says uh platinum and yo all over it. this looks really good uh, i really do like how this came out let's swap the head for you guys if you guys were curious you can put the tongue out head because I'm sure that's how a lot of us are going to display them. See, I, these freaking shorter pegs sometimes are a little bit of a pain, but wedge it in there. That looks really good. I don't know, man. Let me know what down in the comments below. What do you like better? I think we're all going to go with the tongue out head scan, but maybe I'm wrong. So let me know down in the comments what you like better.
If you guys are enjoying this video review, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you will be adding them to your collection and what you think of each of these figures. My personal opinion, I think this set is okay. I'll be honest with you guys, I think without a doubt, Max Caster is the winner. Love the accessories he comes with. The sparkling jersey really is a winner. The head sculpt is pretty good. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the stoic scans or the plain face scans on Bowens or Caster, uh, but the tongue out scans look great. I wish he would have came with another, like, scissoring hand would have really kind of completed it uh, i think uh billy gunn is actually a decent figure it's a shame that he is stained that is that's going to be a problem and you, you know um the longer you wait to purchase the set i feel like the worse these torsos come stained as the, the that cloth shirt kind of sits on the plastic and it kind of just bleeds in there so if you do want the set go on ringside go ahead and grab it now because it's only going to get worse maybe you'll get lucky and it won't be as bad i think there's no question about it there's not going to be any of them that do not come stained the shoulders on my billy are pretty bad and that really is just puts such a damper on this three pack you could even see my enthusiasm kind of just sunk out once i pulled that shirt off but I mean, this is what they're going to keep doing. I, I just feel like it's going to hurt their product. Uh, I'll be honest with you guys. I've not lost complete interest in AW, but I don't know. The, the lack of, you know, transparency on what's going on with the line. We were getting so many figures at one point. We we're getting a little fatigued. Now we're not getting much. Uh, they're releasing so many different reveals that get changed way in advance. I know something needs to change with this line. These figures are decent. Uh, you do have the option of grabbing them in Unrivaled 14 as well. Um, but I really do like the, the pink and white on here. I feel like the ringside exclusive is going to be the best way to go, especially if you want a Billy Gun. I feel like he's going to be pretty hard uh, to track down. But accessory-wise, you do get a lot for these figures. So the bang for your buck is there. Uh, I think Bowens and Caster look great. It's just going to be if you can deal with the staining that comes with Billy Gun. But again, if you are interested in picking up the set, it is a ringside collectibles exclusive. That is the only place to grab it. Uh, when you shop, use promo code 4LIFE to save 10% off your order. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at AlexWestCollects. I appreciate you guys continuing to support and tune in here. And I'll catch you all on the next video review.